In my last video, you saw how I purchased the horse of my absolute dreams and now he is officially home at Free Spirit Equestrian and we are so excited. So we just unloaded from the trailer. I'm gonna walk him into his stall and he's just gonna relax for the night, but this is huge. Came and checked on him. He is doing so well eating and drinking. His mane is just to die for. Like the videos do not do justice. It is insanely thick. Hi baby, you're doing so good. Like it's just insane. So gorgeous. You're so beautiful. Yeah, get good drinky drink. <laughs> yeah, he's settling in great. I'm just hanging out with him. I'm gonna check on him a couple more times tonight, but I think he's good to go. Then we'll turn him out tomorrow. Hey, horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So as you saw in our last video, we bought this absolutely gorgeous buckskin boy. I love you. He is settling in so well, and I'm just so happy that he's here at Free Spirit Farm. We got in late last night, and this morning, what we're gonna do is let him run around in the indoor arena. He's kind of in quarantine, but at the same time, he came from a great situation, so I'm not really worried about that per se. But yeah, so we're gonna let him run around in the indoor. It's kind of crappy and rainy out today. And then afterwards, we're going to do a grooming session, braid his mane, and then he's going to go out in his private paddock. So right now he's in a stall that opens up to a paddock, which is perfect for him to just settle in. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about why we're going to do that. I'm so happy you're here, buddy. You are gorgeous. Plus, I'm still trying to figure out a barn name for him. So his registered name is Light the Way. I have a few names in mind, so. Okay, let's get him out of the stall. I want him to move around a little bit and then we'll do our grooming session. You are just absolutely stunning. I know, we're gonna go out, we're gonna go out. Okay, let's go in the indoor arena. Look at this forelock, it's insane. Literally crazy, how do you see? <laughs> All right, we're getting you out. He also ate and drank last night, so that was really good. And he's been really chill and comfortable, so that makes me happy. So like I said, we're gonna walk him out of the stall and bring him in the indoor arena. That way he can move around and play because his paddock, obviously he can move around in the paddock, but it's a little bit muddy and I just want him to get his shenanigans out and stretch his legs in here where the footing's a little bit better. You are the best Christmas present I could ever ask for. How lucky am I, like seriously. And I am very grateful for him. I am so grateful. <laughs> There's the crew. Go, go, go! Go get it, go get it, go get it. Okay, you ready? I don't know what I'm gonna name him, like, so many vibes. He has a lot of vibes, so I don't know. You ready to come out? You a big boy. This forelock is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This hair. I'm going to braid you. I think this halter kind of is. Okay, come on. I just go to the back and eat hay yeah okay i'm gonna let you be crazy and that. get out the sillies
What do you think? Huh? Okay, he had fun walking around, exploring, and he didn't do anything really wacky. So now we're going to tie him to our hitching post. We have twine just in case he was to pull back, and we're going to groom him. Let's give you a quick brush, okay? Be comfortable. Be comfortable here. It'll be all right. Lots of new things. I'm really impressed with how he's responding since he just arrived here last night and he's just standing quietly and he's not nervous or anything. What a sweetheart. This is crazy. This hair is, it is out of this world long and it's so thick and heavy. I just, I just never see anything like it. And yes, I am freaking out about the bail barn. So we are coming up with a solution. I am not letting this mane get rubbed out. There's no way, no way. I mean, look at it, it's crazy. All right, let's braid you. I think let's start with his mane and then we'll do his tail. <laughs> yeah, if you don't flip it first then it won't braid. I'm just trying to think of how thick of sections to do. So what we're doing now is flipping his mane over so that it hangs on both sides because it's so thick and heavy. You don't want all of that mane braided up and pulling on one side. So Kyle's braiding one side and I'm doing this one. There is so much hair to get through. But honestly, with two people doing it efficiently, it's not bad. It went relatively quicker than I thought it would. And he is being such a good boy. You can tell he is used to being braided. And I'm definitely going to be getting better at braids. I'm not that good in the first place. I can do a normal braid, but I, <laughs> I am not the best. But I'm definitely going to have a lot of practice because I want to keep this mane as glorious as possible. And I am prepared for all of the maintenance that he is going to require. Kyle just said we could have bought a nice car for this. We're getting there. Another thing, I added some mainly long product to his mane and tail last night. It's awesome because it's not oily and it nourishes the mane and tail. So I've been using that on Mushu too ever since I bought him. And I actually put that on the Amazon wish list because I'm going to need a ton of it. So if you want to buy some for this big boy, then you can check that out. I was like, got the braid stand. <laughs> okay, last head braid. Done? Yeah. Everything's braided? Yep. All we have to do is feathers. Stop. 
Don't do that. Oh. I'm sorry. Well, I hope you're not going to do that in the thing. Red. Huh? I need to do red because I did orange and yellow, so I need red. Does Delani know how to braid? Who? Delani. Yeah. I know how to braid, I just don't know. How to do it properly? I can't French braid or nothing. Okay, does that look stupid? Yeah. Alright, we got him braided. Woo! He was such a good boy. I mean, they might not be perfect, and I suck at braiding, but I'll get better, especially with this hair. But he was super sweet. So we'll leave these in for a couple weeks, unless, of course, we did a horrible job and they come out sooner. But my goal is to braid him, like, every one to three weeks, just depending on the season and all of that. So, yeah, he looks so cute. Okay, we got him all braided. So Kyle did all of these braids. I did this one and his forelock. Look at that. That is insane. And then Kyle wanted to braid his feather too. I was like, no. <laughs> and then we have, we're just going to do three tail braids. See how that goes. It's not perfect, but good enough to see. Otherwise we might end up doing four. And then he has this side that I did. I didn't do them as tight. I suck. I know. Don't judge me. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Oh, it's loose. I'll have to probably redo them sooner, but that's okay. Look at you, gorgeous baby. You ready to go in your paddock now? You can see now. Yeah, I know. You ready to go in your paddock? Yes. You can definitely see that Clyde head. So he is three-fourths Gypsy Vanner, one-eighth Frisian, and one-eighth Clydesdale. So an awesome mix. And I have his papers. Well, I have a picture. She's going to mail them to me. But yeah, he is just so cool. I love his face. It's so sweet and kind. And I love his build, his color, his personality. He's looking at Koa and everything about him. I'm just going to walk him around for a little bit and play with him before I put him back out in the paddock. Some of oh no, they're just flipped over. I really want to get into trick training now. It's something I've always wanted to do, and this is the start of a magical partnership. I'm so excited. Cool how he laid down. Mm -hmm. He's hooked on. This one. Good boy. This one. Good boy. Oh. Okay. Come on. Good 
boy. That was so much fun messing around with him. So we're still trying to figure out a name. So of course they're all Disney names. And like I said, his registered name is Light the Way. And then once we figure it out, I'll do some type of name reveal, either in a short, a post, or I'll make another video, just depending. So yeah, okay. That was good just to spend some time with him low key, do a couple little tricks to get him thinking. And now he's gonna go in his paddock. Good boy, you happy? Yes, you are. Okay, let's do that. Can you shut the door behind? Here, you have a cat. I know. Here you go. <laughs> what do you think? Now I can film them if you want to film them. What do you think, big boy? What do you think? So pretty. Yeah, this is your stall, huh? We gotta clean your stall. We gotta clean it. So the paddock is going to be good for him to just settle in because then he can choose if he wants to go in or out of the stall. So that's great. And the other thing is he was a stallion up until a couple months ago. So he has not really been with other horses. So my plan is to obviously just keep him in here to get him settled in probably for two to four weeks because that is what his normal routine is. And once he's done with his quote unquote quarantine, which is again, gonna be very light because he came from very favorable situations. It's not like he was an auction horse, but I'm still just not gonna like have horses touch noses with him or anything like that. But this is good because it's what he's used to. And I want to keep him in his routine at least for a few weeks while we settle into our training once he's, you know, had a little bit of time to adjust. Like I'm not gonna ride him for probably like a week or two. And then I want to ride him for another couple weeks before I integrate him into the herd. Does that make sense? Just because that was his routine. So then we'll transition into more of the way that I do things where he'll be with our herd and, you know, eventually we'll do bitless riding and stuff like that, just little by little. And I'm so excited. <laughs> He's happy to be out here, I think. And this is nice because it's a decent size where he can come in and out and then he's gonna be doing groundwork and all of that. So I'm happy for him. And of course he's been turned out, like obviously he's, this horse hasn't been just stuck in a stall or anything, but in regards to meeting the herd, it completely makes sense because he was a stud. So yeah, looking forward to um, transitioning him and seeing how he does with the other horses. And we're not really gonna put hay in the bale barn. I'm actually gonna put it in his stall. We gotta clean it so that he doesn't rub out his mane until I come up with a good solution. What do you think? He seems happy and content. He's just trying to figure everything out, but I think he's glad he can go outside too. Is this nice? Do you have options? Do you have options? You coming in now? Good boy. The stall's clean now. He's got a salt block. I'm gonna fill up a big trough tomorrow, but I just wanna really monitor how much he's drinking right now. Threw a couple flakes of hay out. I'm gonna throw more out later. Just want him to eat those first. So I'm just checking on him a lot. Yeah, he's doing good. Also, our Bay Girl lipstick is back in stock and I've been wearing it in today's video. It is such a nice, warm color. It's a muted rose and I topped it with my Galloping and Gold lip gloss. So if you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order something off the Spirited Horse Boutique. We have lipsticks, body scrubs, bitless bridles, brow bands, all equestrian theme items. And that is the best way to support us. You can order something off the Spirited Horse Boutique. Link in the description.
Okay, so I'm just gonna give him some time to settle in. I will definitely update you horse lovers on how he's doing and eventually when we figure out a name. I just wanna say happy holidays and Merry Christmas too. I am so excited that he is here. This is just so amazing. He's doing really well for his first day. I mean, he literally got here last night. He's been here less than 17 hours, so he's doing so well. So horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates with our new horse, Belle, Ezzy, and any of the other horses. And I'll see you next time. Bye.